Welcome everybody to a different type of video today where I'm not going to be playing Mario Kart Wii, not going to be doing a challenge video today. Today I'm just going to be answering a long-term question that has been going around on my channel for a little while that a few people have just been curious about. I know there's a lot of questions, I'd love to answer them later, but today I'm going to be focusing on one specific question. I did say I would answer this when I hit 75,000 subscribers. Don't know why I said that because... I literally hit that number before I even uploaded the video where I said it, so there was literally no point. And now I think I'm at 79k, so I'm, I did this kind of late, but hey, I'm doing it now, okay, so. Basically, what is the origin of Mad Guy? Why did I make Mad Guy? Uh, where did he come from? All the questions going to be answered today. So, basically, I have had this me pretty much the entire time I've had a Wii. I, I, not the entire time, I did have another me that I used to use. I think it's gone now, I'm not sure what happened to it, but I've been using Mad Guy for as long as I can remember. So basically it all goes back to the early days of the Wii, when the Wii was still thriving and in its golden, golden age or whatever. And there was this channel called the Check Me Out channel, and there was this contest one week that I really wanted to get into and it was you had to create like an evil scientist or a mad scientist or something whatever it was and I really wanted to compete in this contest essentially that was the check me out channel you know that they, they're having they had themes every week for different memes you could make and yeah so one week it was the mad scientist and I was like oh okay I need to I want to make a me for this I really want to do this so I spent a few good hours, all right? I, I was really perfecting this me. I was really making this me as perfect as I could make it. Like I really wanted this me to be absolutely amazing. And I spent hours and hours and hours crafting this perfect me. And there, there it was, it was Mad Guy. Th that's how it, and that's what happened. Well, let me go into a little bit more detail. So I created the me, right? Spoiler alert, I unfortunately, um, did not win the contest. I was very upset. I looked at I looked at the top me's. They, they some people made some really good me's. I'm I'm surprised of how much effort people put into the check me out channel contest. Yeah, I did not win, unfortunately. But I was still proud of the me, and I, I thought I did it. I still still thought I thought I did a pretty good job. I was still really proud of the me, and I loved it. It looked better than any of my other me's. I know maybe today some people might think, uh, really, that's what the best thing you could do. All right, come on. I was like nine or nine or ten, but. Yeah, it was a long time ago. I was just a kid. I was just trying to make the me in my vision. In, it, like, I had a vision, and it, like, it came out like almost exactly like what I was thinking of. So you may be thinking, like, why this look? Why this? Why does the, your me look like that? How does that look resemble anything? So my me is actually resembling a fictional character from a TV show called The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron. So there's this character named Professor Calamitous. I think that's what his name was. And he was basically this, the, he was a little tiny angry scientist on the show. That So that's kind of like when I was making this mad scientist me, that's kind of what I was going off of. So that's kind of what my me is like, you know, like a reference to. That's kind of what it looks like, you know, Professor Killiman is from The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron. That, you know, I watched that show a ton as a kid. It was one of my favorite shows. You know, I, I pretty much crafted this me to look to resemble him as much as I can. And if you look at it side by side, I'd say I actually did a pretty good job, I think. I think, yeah, I think that's why I was so proud of it because it looked exactly like him. Like, so when some people think of a mad scientist, you might think of other things. But that, I was, see, I was just picturing Professor Calamitous because that was like my best image of a mad scientist. But, and so I think my me actually resembled that pretty well. And that is why the me looks like that. Then you may be wondering too, another question is, why did I call it Mad Guy? And what does the exclamation mark even mean? So this is kind of funny, but it's also kind of dumb. So I, when I made the me, I was just gonna call it Mad Scientist, right? That, that was what I was gonna call um, the me. Nothing, just Mad Scientist, no special name, no, I, I think I might've wanted to call it Professor, I can't remember this for sure, I think I wanted to call it Professor Calamitous, but I didn't know how to spell Professor or Calamitous, and I don't even know how to spell Calamitous nowadays, so that, that would, you know, I didn't, I didn't have like a computer or phone to just search these words up on, or, you know, look any of this up, so I was like, I was completely screwed, so I did not know what to do, so I was just gonna call it Mad Scientist then, I was just gonna call it 
mad scientist and I'd be fine. And then I also realized I didn't know how to spell scientist. But I was like super determined. Like I really wanted to call this me mad scientist. I didn't want to call it any I didn't know what else to call it. So I I, I spent forever. I, I think I went through a dictionary just to look up how to spell scientist. Like I think I was like that desperate. I just really wanted to call it that. And then when I went to input the me name, I ended up realizing that scientist was too many letters. And you know, this was this was confusing for me as a kid. Like who knew science had a C in it? Like I was mind blown, dude. It was it was super confusing, but yeah. I I just couldn't it just wouldn't let me because it was too many characters for me. I could not put mad scientist as a meaning. I was like, I was just so mad because I spent so much. I legit think I spent 20 minutes just trying to figure out how to spell scientist. And when I finally figured it out and tried to put it in, it just didn't let me. So I was like, what do I do? All right. I was like, what do I do? So, you know, I wanted to do mad scientist. So I had mad and then I just went, I couldn't think of anything else. So I just put guy. Then I put the exclamation mark just because I was a little bit mad. I think, I think I was just mad and I was just trying to express my anger, you know? Yeah. That exclamation mark showed them. Yeah. That was, that was great. And yeah, that's basically the story of mad guy. Uh, that's basically how it came to be. And I've just been super proud of that. I was super proud of that me when I made it. And I can, when, as soon as I made that me, I started using it in all the games. You know, I started using it in every game that, you know, I played on the Wii and this me just became my me. And I just, to this day, I, I just kept using it. And when I started making Mario Kart Wii videos, you know, obviously my channel name was creepy produce. So maybe I could get, I could get into that story maybe in a later day of where I came up with the name Creepy Produce. It's not as interesting as you think. Don't get your hopes up. But yeah, I kept using it. And so when I was making Mario Kart Wii videos, you know, when I, I was obviously a very small YouTuber when I started making Mario Kart Wii videos. And I thought, you know, maybe should I change my name to Creepy Produce or something like that to promote my YouTube channel or just so it'll match my YouTube channel. And then I thought, you know, I'm so small, nobody's going to care. And then I, I kind of liked Mad Guy anyway. You know, I've been with Mad Guy. You know, it's more of a nostalgia thing for me. I love Mad Guy. So he's always been my me. I'm always be proud of this me. I just can't stop using it. And I thought, I don't care. I'm just going to keep using it anyway. And even when I started to grow, I'm like, no, no, I'm like, I'm just going to keep using Mad Guy. I'm not going to switch my name to Creepy Produce or anything like that. I, I'm proud of Mad Guy and I will forever use this me on the Wii, Mario Kart Wii. I ha I, yeah, on my later consoles, I do use a different me. But, you know, on the Wii, I think I will always use Mad Guy, just for the Wii. And it'll just be my little, you know, my little proud creation. Sorry if you thought that Mad Guy resembled me in real life. Some people think I actually look like that in real life. Like, I'm not bald, okay? Like, I don't know what you think I look like. I, I look like a normal <laughs> Okay, I was gonna say I look like a normal human. Okay, bald people can... <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> okay, it's not... If you're... If, I'm not hating against bald people. If you're bald, I love you. And some people also think it's just because I'm angry. Like, I'm just an angry person. So I named myself Mad Guy because, you know, I'm a guy and I guess I'm mad. But if you see my videos, I don't get mad that often. And when I do get mad, I don't get that mad. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that's basically wraps it up. I hope that hope that this was interesting to some a few people. I know some people are kind of interested in that. Maybe I'll do maybe I'll do another like full Q&A and like answer a bunch of questions and sometime in the near future. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you all for watching and hope you have a beautiful day.